everyone and welcome back to another Train Some World 2 video. Now we're doing something a bit different today. Uh, we're actually doing a class 375 service, but something a bit special about this one. As it is the only service which goes to Dartford in the game. It is the 1950 from Ramsgate, it says obviously to um, Dartford. So I thought we'd do this today. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, the only Dartford service, I don't know if this is a realistic service in real life. Um, maybe there's only one in real life that goes to Dartford. I'm not really too sure. I mean, obviously, Dartford is. Um, oh, Dartford, 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 Dartford is. Uh, actually, let's get going first. Uh, we'll get that off, we don't really need that on. I think we've got all the bits all set up. Yeah, Dartford. We've got the night lights on as it's past seven. But Dartford is... There's Epsley. Dartford would be... Basically here, outside of the Thames Tunnel. Um, obviously it would be somewhere this side. So I suppose Dartford would be... There's the 375 tracks there. Somewhere around here. So this doesn't go too far, this service. I'm interested. I wonder if it actually does. This is a real service. I'm going to look it up now on my phone whilst we're going along. Um, we've got to have a little look. Yeah, but this is the only one. And you do get a few Cannon Street services as well, which I kind of want to do at some point. Yes, yeah, so we're missing out Tenham and Newington. This is the next stop being um, Sittingbourne, which is about seven miles from here. I'm going to have a little look, let's see, uh, Planner, so we'll set it from Faversham, Faversham to Dartford, 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 uh, Dartford, we'll set it, send it, I know, tomorrow, so Saturday, if you're watching this on release, uh, we'll set it to, you know, rush hour sort of time, let's have a look, one change, one change, 1950 service. Can't see any direct one on there. Which has this, no, this timetable is set in these sorts of COVID times. But on here, there is no direct. You have to change at uh, Raynham. Yeah. So I don't know if it's just an extra little bonus service they put in. Sorry if I did miss any whistleboards along there, I might have, but uh, here's, uh, here's one there. But yeah, anyways, hopefully everyone is having a good day. If, if you are watching on the premiere, thanks for coming in. Obviously, if you are enjoying so far, do leave a thumbs up and wow, that sun really is on our eyes. We can't really close it too much. I think we'll have to have it up. So it's 75 along this bit, and it goes up to 85 at the uh, level crossing. Yeah, it's about 5 miles now to Sittingbourne, so we've still got a fair way to go. Obviously, calling out Sittingbourne, uh, Raynham, uh, Gillingham, Chatham, uh, Rochester, Strood. I'm not sure if we're stopping at Higham. Are we stopping at Higham? Uh, we're not stopping at Higham. So yeah, we're a fairly quick service tonight. Well, yeah, this evening. Yeah, it's a sneaky little extra service. It's quite a good crossing, this one is, to sort of just, you know, set up at. Set up and watch the trains go by at that crossing. See, Tenham is just round here. Well, not just round here, it's a little bit away, but hey, Javelin. I don't like the sounds of it anymore. When the South Eastern Hospital first came out, the Javelin sounded amazing. It sounded really good, especially when it passed you. You could hear, like, the motors really clearly, but they've done something to it. In the last update, I don't know if it's more realistic, but it just doesn't sound really that good anymore. They've made kind of the AC and the cab really loud. Um, 
it just I don't I'm not a big fan of the sounds of the javelin anymore since the last update. I mean you can still hear them, like, you know, when you're driving it and you're right next to the motors, but now yeah, you you can't hear it as well. Maybe it is realistic, but I preferred it as it was as it was before. Oh, that's Tenem. And St. Bourne's only a mile or so away now. So we'll start slowing this down as before on the Electra, well, on the Electra Stars. The braking was amazing. Um, but obviously, since the um, couple of patches ago, it's now been sort of, you know, it's not as good the braking anymore. Even if you put it in step three, it's not that great. So we have got to be careful. Quite love an electro star. I mean, some people say, "Oh, electro stars horrible." You know, they're not nice. Uh, they're all the same. But I, I love electro stars probably because I've grown up with them. <laughs> I think these were built in 2003. Obviously, that's when I was born. Um, so you can probably work out my age from that. Um, yeah, I've just grown up with them, so I, I quite like them. Same with the free one for each as well. So I can't remember what their names are. I just call them the Rattler. Yeah, so coming into Sittingbourne, I'll stop in the brakes on just a tad more. And if you're watching this far into the video, put Sittingbourne into the comment section. Obviously, thanks if you are watching this far. I'm sorry if you can't hear me, I'm just having a... Got a glass of Coca-Cola. Now, I haven't actually been on the South East in high speed in a couple of days. Obviously, I remember when I first came out, I was like, wow, I'm going to be playing this every day, all day. Um, but I sort of suppose the route hype has kind of died out now. Um, also, we've got the next route coming along, but we've actually got two routes coming along fairly quickly. We've got Clinchfield coming, and also the Arosa line. I think out of them two, I'm probably more looking forward to the Arosa line. Um, so we've got a fair bit coming. Uh, yeah, I think the hype's kind of gone out for this now. But still a brilliant route. And so if you don't have it, I highly recommend it. And we've got a shed there to the right of us, and here is Sittingbourne Station, looking really good in the kind of low summer sun. Obviously you enter the platform at around 30 miles an hour. The stop marker is just at the old footbridge coming up. Most likely we are on time. Uh, so I do want to say thanks to Joshua C. Um, he might even be watching. Who actually told me about this service because I, I wasn't really looking. Um, and he was old to Dartford service at 1950. It's only one. So that's why we're doing it. For you know, it's a fairly quick service. Yeah, calling it Rainham, Jenningham, Chatham, Rochester, Strood, and then faster Gravesend. A bit of a bonus. Most of the time, you have to stop at. Um, I am. We arrived. Hang on. We arrived. Wow. Okay. We we arrived on time ish. Uh, just a t tad late. Only by thirty seconds or so. Uh, but usually on the three seven five services, you're always early. That's a good southeastern blue. So I want them to, in future, I mean, they probably won't, but to bring out a um, a livery pack. Or even one we can share liveries, that'll be good, then I can get it off someone else. But um, then we can actually get the other liveries, which are on the 375. I think it literally was only just the southeastern yellow. And I think also, did they do white and blue doors? As that sort of the transition one? Not too sure. Yeah, it would be nice to get the other livery on this without having to make it.
and we're off. So making our way now to Raynham. Let's go. So yeah, it's about another five odd miles to get there. Once we're passing through Newington. Obviously, yeah, if you're enjoying the video, do leave a thumbs up. Obviously, when this does actually come out, which will be on Saturday the 20th of February, our new merch would have actually been released. Obviously, a whole new classic line we've got. So, if you do want to check out the British Ace merch, even the Javelin top, that's still in until Thursday, obviously, if you are watching on the release day. Um, so, yeah, do check out the merch store below. It's um, really, really good designs, obviously, by Amanda. Uh, yeah, she's amazing at designing. There we go. So yeah, do check out the merch. Um, it is uh, very good. So the speed will come down to 70 uh, soonish. So we'll just stick at 70, I think, for now. I think this is even the speed board here for it. No, I'm seeing things. That was the sun on a bit of a fence that made it look like a bit of white for the speedboard. No, there's the 70 there. So we kind of curl round here and then pass Newington. Newington's quite a, not an odd station, but kind of where it sort of is situated. I mean, it's literally right on the bit. Well, you'll see it in a minute. It is right on the bit where the line sort of goes into you know the force of the slow line but well, we'll see in a minute we'll wait until we see it and actually do does anyone know was this upcoming section did it used to be two tracks because it just it feels like they made some sort of you know some little kind of extension to it to make it four tracks maybe to allow fast trains to go through but not really much point in it. Yeah, here's Newington coming up round here. We'll see it in a minute. Obviously, if you actually are turning off there, you'll get the flashing yellow, which is um, I think new to this uh, to this route. Yeah, there's Newington there. So it's literally on the bit where it kind of goes off. I mean, the platform is literally on the points. Yeah, it's, it's, so the platform seems really low up one side as well. Yeah, but this four track section, is this new or has this been here for a long time? So it feels like it's sort of a, a new bit to let maybe the javelins go through, or I don't know, something like that. So the speed is 75 actually, although well, it's not too far to rain them now. Not far at all. Let's get a flyby shot. I know people will probably be saying, why is it not getting flyby shots? That's, uh, hang on, we got a yellow coming up. No, we, oh, no, we are chasing something. The horn does definitely sound better on the 375 to the 377. Only just, it does sound better. Green there. We're probably chasing a service which has come off from Newington on obviously on the slow line to the left of us. Maybe even um, a random service which just left. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, uh, random is just round this next corner. Well, there's this corner and it kind of. Yeah, it goes to the right here, and then we'll be, um, then we'll be there. This is sort of the far stretch of the classic line from Faversham along to probably Gillingham, and it kind of slows down a bit as you kind of make your way through the proper Medway towns. So you've got the working level crossing here at Raynham. 
And obviously that does bring me on to another thing. Clinchfield Railroad. Um, I believe that will have working level crossings. And I believe there's quite a lot of them. Obviously more than I think the five on here. There's a lot of crossings on Clinchfield. So it'd be nice to see if they are working. Even on the Arosa line. Because obviously with Rivet Games. Obviously the Isle of Wight seemed a bit kind of. of it's out there. Yeah, let me reword that. The Isle of Wight, obviously the island line, it feels like it's an old TSW route. Although it's, uh, it came out back in October, so it's a TSW2 route. It just feels like an old one. So I'm hoping the Arosa line will be up to standards of working dot matrix, PIS, um, all of it really. Working level crossings. Hopefully it won't feel like a sort of old route. Well, has any, anybody else sort of, you know, felt that about the Isle of It feels like a old TSW route. Obviously, I've not really any platform climb-up functionality at some stops. Uh, obviously, no PIS. I mean, at Ride Esplanade, there's one dot matrix board, so they might have been like, what's the point, but still. Anyway, this is uh, Raynham. Well, have we arrived late? Late? We arrived late again. <laughs> What's going on? It's got a bit of the timetable for this, because we've literally been going at the top speed. Oh, that's what I'm on about, that flash in yellow there. That's um, telling the driver that they would be turning off, obviously, onto the slow line at Newington. So now I already know that is a Newington stopper. That's got to be Gillingham next. Let's watch this going out. So the speed is 90, uh, most of the way to Gillingham, and once we actually get closer to Gillingham, it will drop down to um, 60. Is that another service already? That should be a uh, service to Raynham. Yeah, that's a service to Raynham, that one. I kind of, I feel that this section here between Raynham and, uh, Raynham and Gillingham, it's like a weird one in a way. It's, uh, it's a fairly short section, but it just, um, it feels like we're out in the countryside and then you get on the left. Well, it's weird. It's a weird sort of section, I feel. Because um, it kind of feels like we're in the countryside, but then we're not, on the con not in the countryside. If you look on the right, it's like we're right on the country, and you look on the left, it's the houses. It feels, yeah. Doesn't feel like we're going through a town at the moment. We'll be down to 60 shortly. We should get the AWS warning and the warning board soon for it. Yeah, see, now it feels like we're out in the countryside again. That's weird, we didn't get any, um, I thought we might have been coming up to that, we didn't get any AWS warning. Or did we, but I just didn't remember. So we're down to 60 now, I was kind of waiting for the warning, and then I'll bring it down to 60, but it didn't, I don't think we got it. i have to remember that for next time. Anyway, Gillingham is coming up. And the speed will stay at 60 until we get into Gillingham Tunnel, where it will go down to 50, then down to 30. Gillingham level crossing. And here we are. Got a javelin in there as well, look at that. Is that a 12 car? Yeah, it's a 12 car. I still feel like the um, 
display on it is too large now. Obviously, I'll show you in a moment if it doesn't leave. And if you're watching this far, if you put Gillingham into the comments section. Right, this is Gillingham. Uh, I'll show me what, what it is. Um, I just want to get down to here. Oh, God, it's about to leave. This here, it feels like it's too large now, the font on it. Before it seemed realistic, uh, but now it's massive, the font on here. just doesn't seem right. I don't know if anyone can, you know, confirm, but it just seems a bit too big now, the font on there. So you can hardly hear the motors now. Right, I'll be chatting next. We're kind of going into the core section now of the route. Let's go. So speed's still 60, it'll come down to 50 soon enough. So what is everyone's favourite station so far on this route? I keep changing my mind about what my favourite one is. It's got to either be... Cause the other day I said Rainham, but now I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's actually Chatham. I don't know what my favourite one is. Because they're all just, you know, really well-modelled, scenic, sort of nice stations. So it's a tough choice. It's a very tough choice. Yeah, but what is everyone's favourite station? Or, like me, do you sort of just like them all equally? Or at least a few of them equally. As much. So this is Gillingham Tunnel. We'll be Chatham Tunnel next, and obviously we'll be coming into Chatham. Obviously the headquarters of Dovetail Games is in Chatham. Speed is about to be 50. There's a tiny little 50 board on there. We come down to 30. Stop bringing that down. Right down to 30 now. There we go. And obviously, coming into Chatham, which is, we should be able to see any second now, Chatham. There it is. One over 375 in there. station this one kind of sandwiched in between two tunnels love it is that another random service there or did it say ramsgate on that one well, here's the eight car stop We're going to Dartford, where are you going? Gillingham. Just down the road, eh? So there was already a service in at Gillingham, so that must be behind us then. There's a service in there already, it looks like it's ready to go. Oh, I think it's literally leaving as we speak. Got about a minute and a half late again. I don't know where we've got that from. Anyway, let's get the door shut. So it'll be Rochester next. So that's Fort Pitt Tunnel there. Let's go.
Can someone do tell me? Oh, so you don't get this on the 377. This three step check. What is it? I'm saying, is this some sort of southeastern thing? What is it? Check. Platform, check. Doors, I don't know. What is the three step check? Do put it in the comment section below because I've not seen it on other trains, only on these ones. I'm guessing, I mean, it's on the door control, so I'm guessing that means, you know, check the platform, check the safety of, I don't know, something like that. Well, here's the old Rochester station coming up. So I'm going down there. You can see Rochester Castle and obviously Rochester Cathedral. just round here and then there's the new Rochester station almost feels like it's just steady to move it they could have done some sort of walkway down to here for accessibility but they moved it in the end Chester. So it'll be strewed next and then we're going fast to Gravesend. Just a pleasant surprise. I don't think I actually have done an evening run on here before, so it's quite nice to you know see the sun going down. Oh, so yeah, I have got the night lights on as I believe it's past 7 o'clock in the evening you have to have your night lights on. Even if it's still light in summer. London to Faversham high speed. I mean, it's not exactly high speed this section but... So we are there and we're going to Gravesend. Let's go. I just love the, you know, kind of, um, you know, the disabled area, the way it's kind of red on it. I love the, I just love the livery on this, it's great. Good job to have designed it. Nice. Right, we're going over the Rochester Bridge now, Midway Bridge. It's 30. And also on to the classic signals now. It's quite tight round there. Obviously that's the Chatham main line up there. Um, which obviously heads to um, London Victoria. Right, so coming into Strood, and we got one more stop after this, obviously being Gravesend, which I think we were doing at, um, well, I think this was first like 40 minutes, but I mean, I can't think it will take 10 minutes to get to Gravesend. So it's not that far from here, I think it's about 6 miles.
Right, it's true. Here we are. Hey, you got to admit though, I've said it quite a few times, this livery is really nice. I thought of like, you know, even with the first class area, you've kind of got the yellow box here. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, proper marks it out. Obviously you've got the uh, disabled access area here. It's, um, it's nice. Well, I reckon we actually arrive at Gravesend on time. It's about six miles from here. And we've got eight minutes. I reckon we might arrive there on time. Off we go. And we got a really long tunnel which will take us all the way to High End. Through tunnel, 2,127 metres, about a mile and a half. Now, I'm not sure if it's just counting this tunnel and the next one. There's just like a tiny little gap between them. Or if it's just counting this one. It's got to be just this one, hasn't it? Yeah, going up to 70, what have we got? That is a 375. That's an 8 car service, I think. And it's 70 basically all of the way to Gravesend. It comes down to 50 just before then to 30. But yeah, most most of the way is 70. And obviously this was actually a canal tunnel before. Um I actually read a bit of, I don't know if I did it in the um, last video we did on here, but yeah, so it was actually a canal tunnel. And then the London, Chatham and Dover Railway, I think it was, they purchased it off the canal um, and then converted it into a railway tunnel. Which obviously it's been ever since. So you can just imagine, it takes us a fair while to get through the tunnel. I mean, imagine a canal boat going out, well, they're really slow, they're like... Four or five miles an hour coming through here, I mean that would be quite slow. Not sure where the canal went, I'm guessing it went into the Medway. Yeah, that's another question. Oh, there's a javelin here. Where did the canal go? It went, it went through here. Because you can see it going at Graves End. Because it's not actually there anymore. But you can see kind of the remainders of it. That's high -em. So it's literally just round to its Who Junction. So there's a few more freight services now you can do there. Got whistle board. Sometimes I do it and it doesn't do it. I wanted a really quick one. Obviously you've got the uh, line up to the Isle of Grain, which someone said has a, a couple of massive uh, freight line uh, and BP uh, sort of freight terminals. Another whistle board. See, on the other side you don't get these. Right. 
Let me chill out. So there's a sheep down there, cattle. Yeah, so actually, yeah, talk about the canal. I believe you can see it here. So this is the uh, sort of remains of it. Um, actually, it's not active anymore, but it almost seems like there was two of them. There's one on that side as well, so I don't know if it was sort of like a two-way one. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the canal. Fair bit there, actually. What's this coming up here? That's just a little bridge. Oh, that was a little stream, that one. Right, I ain't too far now to um, it's Gravesend. I don't know what that little thing there is. That little box there, is that on the 377? Hmm. Like a little camera or something. Not too sure. Coming down to 50 now. Now we're down to 30. Usually you get an AWS warning board for these, um, no, an AWS uh, warning for these sort of warning boards, but we haven't got them. It's a bit odd. We'll be down to 30 next. Got a double yellow. There we go. Again. So you might have to stop before the station actually. No, surely not. Unless we are still following that thing along. It's down to 30 anyway, now there is a red light, so we are actually early. So I don't know what it was about earlier, us being late at the stations, but now we're early. Sure, we're waiting for. Could even be the rail tour, actually. I think that does pass through here around this time. Yeah, so saying it's at Gravesend at that. Oh, there you go, that was gone now. What was it? That's a, yeah, some 375 service. Oh, we'll speed up again then. Actually, yeah, the signals are different here as the sort of the classic ones. We should be cleared in Scraves then now. And we should actually be arriving on time. What was it, 40 past? Or was it 30 past we're due in? Can't remember. I'll be right to the end of the platform, and then that will then be it. I swear when they built the road back there, they literally put a bridge for every road. It's crazy. Oh, where's the red? Oh, I believe Gravesend is a fairly new station because they kind of reworked it. So it's not new, but the platforms are fairly new. Because they had to rework it back in well, a few years back. So it was a bit like raining before. No, Newington. Anyway, that does conclude our 40 minutes. That so that was uh, that was a good journey. Quite enjoyed that. What did everyone think of that Dartford service? I mean, it's basically the same as the others. Just uh, that was quite good. 
Um, yeah, that is going to be everyone. Obviously, links in the description to the Discord server and to the PayPal if you do want to help support the channel. As of now, if you are watching on release, the classic line will be out in the merch store. Do go and check it out. You'll see it actually on screen now. And obviously, going uh, on the 25th of February, obviously 2021, is the Javelin shirt. I do check that out as well. Obviously, there is the Javelin mug if a t-shirt doesn't, well, if a shirt doesn't fancy you. Um, obviously, you'll see that now. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be everyone. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed. Do leave a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you are new. Obviously, daily Train Some World content, obviously streams, videos every other day at the moment. But yeah, that is it. Thanks all for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you at Silver Medal. Uh, you be joking, Silver Medal. Wow. I'll see you all in the next one. See you, everyone. Take care.